Hello, I'm Bo Grzeski, and today we'll be exploring Google SketchUp for Schools. It's an app that can be used for 3D modeling and designing on the Chromebook. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, give us some feedback or check out our related videos by clicking on the pop-up cards in the upper right-hand corner. Let's dig in and check out Google SketchUp for Schools. You can see here I'm on SketchUp.com. This kind of gives you a brief overview of what you can do with the more powerful version of SketchUp, probably on a, your laptop. But basically, it's a 3D modeling program where you can design things, you can make layouts. I've also used it when I've designed a layout for my house. You can even find 3D models of things or upload and share models that you created in this program. But there's also a special program designed just for our Chromebooks. All the way in the lower left-hand corner, you're going to go to your Chrome launcher. You're going to search for SketchUp for Schools, which is already in my previous bar. You'll see your loading screen. So if this was the very first time that you ever went into this app or website, you have to sign in with your G.ORI credentials. Once you've signed in, you'll get into the screen. Now let's see what we can start to create. Okay, so here you are. You're going to start off. You can see that based on the size of your person right here, you're going to design, I'm just going to make up a cube. Hovering your mouse off to the side, you can see your other options. The instructor has some great stuff on here, some great tutorials, and they have some nice animations for you. I would heavily encourage you to check out the instructor stuff when you first start to get to using this tool. Um, they have some other ones that you can do. You can make different views of your stuff. Um, there's multiple layers, but we have lots of great options that we can explore further what you do with your model. And this is how you create your model with your toolbar on the left-hand side here. You can move it, measure it, you know, for example, if I want to measure this, I can get out my measuring tape and, you know, how tall would this person be? And you can see in the lower right hand corner, there's my length. You have multiple axes that you have to worry about. You need to think about designing something. But before I get started, I'm going to give it a name so I don't lose this work. The curriculum is something, um, lots of great stuff on here. I would heavily encourage you guys to check these out. Okay, so we're going to start off first. Right now I'm in my arrow mode. I'm using my arrow. It's really not going to do much. I'm going to take a square, a square tool here. You can't use your finger with the glass. You have to draw with the sensor pad. Okay, now I have a square. Notice that's a dark gray. Now I want to pull that up. You have your various other tools here. You just use your push-pull. See how we get those dots? Hover over, it's gone. I'm going to lift it up. I've taken a square. Now I've taken a cube. I want to rotate it around. This kind of spins my whole world. Maybe I need to zoom out some more. As I'm clicking down, I'm scrubbing my finger across the sensor pad and zooming out for me. Maybe I want to push that one wall in a little bit more. So I'm going to push that in. Maybe I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Now, how big is the shape compared? It gives me kind of the dimensions down here. But if I want to make something exact, maybe I want to make it in scale. Maybe I want to work on a math project with ratio. I'm going to measure that wall right there. And you can see the measurement right down there below. So now let's see if we can maybe put a shape inside the shape. Maybe I want to make a window. So I'm going to draw another rectangle. Notice that the axis is changing, the color. I'm drawing on there, it's green. Drawing on top, it'll be blue. Or red would be the other side. So I want to get it right there. Notice we get that red dot. It tells me I'm on edge. Okay. So now let's push it in. Push pull tool. Let's push them all the way on through and you can rotate it around. Now there's a big difference here. This would rotate my whole model. If I want to change my view, the rotation, I'm going to hit that bottom one. There you go. I've pushed it all the way through the other side. Let's add some color to this thing. We have a paint bucket tool. I can go to my paint bucket. I have some basic materials that I can search for. Selected. And there we are. Give it a little peaked roof. So I'm going to go into my tools here. When I get a point, I'm going to start on that edge. Draw up. See how we get that midpoint right down the middle? I'm going to click there. I'm going to try and get it to touch that point right there. If you get a solid white, that means you have a solid shape. Everything's been connected. Spin it around. Let's see. But we have just a flat triangle. And now we got to pull that out to make that solid tool. And we're going to slide it out until it says it's on the edge. Now, maybe you don't like that solid, that little line going across there. So why don't we take our eraser, hover over that. So let's just try to make a little movie. I'm going to add a picture. Hit the plus. Add a picture. 
I had a picture. Hit my play button. Gives me a little animation that goes through each scene. Oh, another thing my students used to like to do. Shape. Go to your letter. Notice again, look at the size of this. And there is my house. You could rotate around. There's that. Maybe I want to color that. I could show you how to make these things up. I've just kind of showed you the basics, how to draw a shape and do a push-pull. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.